Welcome back, and it's Regina Public Library Day here. It's Thursday, and Jason Hammond joins us now. He's the Outreach Program uh, Director at uh, the Regina Public Library. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And some exciting times happening at the Regina Public Library. Tell us a little bit about some of this technology. I'm not very good with technology. So. <laughs> well, I work in the Outreach Unit, and we serve people across Regina who are visually impaired or can't get to the library. They're homebound. Uh, so we've brought in a whole bunch of new technology uh, all around the system so that people can uh, help them read uh, materials, magnifiers, uh, equipment that uh, can um, do all kinds of stuff for them. What exactly, uh, and, and that's great, but for those people that are homebound, how do they get access to this, to this equipment? Um, they can... Uh, um, access a lot of the stuff that we have over the internet. We're going to have screen reading software so that people uh, from home can uh, listen or it can read web pages to them or it really? can magnify web pages for them. Uh, we've got in our branches for the people that can get in so if they're not fully visually impaired but they just need a little bit of help, we have a Merlin electronic magnifier so you can put your newspaper or uh, magazine under that blows it up nice and big and you can uh, see it like that. Now clearly this isn't something that you can take, I mean, the software is for at home, but the, the magnifier, that's just for in just the Just for in branch. But yeah. nonetheless will really make things easier for Yeah, and, and a lot of times when you say visually impaired people think of people who are completely blind, but we, we have an aging population in our society, uh, a lot of people are getting older and they just need that little bit extra help, uh, so in the library now they can uh, come in, use the magnifiers, keep up with the magazines and newspapers papers, photos, letters that they get, uh, and read them uh, a lot easier. As well, a nice, a nice community aspect to it where, you know, maybe you can go with a friend or, or meet people that you, you know, I know you, you got to be quiet in the library. But no, you don't. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. What happened to the it's, library? It's, it's a loud place now. Oh, you're yeah. allowed to be a little bit uh, You can be loud. a little louder, yeah. I yeah, remember. Breaking, shh, shh, shh. No, That's what no, I remember. Not anymore. Loud. We're breaking all the rules at the library oh, now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. My world just got spun upside <laughs> down, Jason. Yeah. But this obviously is going to help so many people, and what a great thing for our community. Yeah, um, we, uh, we've we already had good reports in every single branch now. Just something simple like a high-contrast keyboard, so with the letters a little bigger. So when people are using the keyboards, they can see what they're typing. Uh, and we had one patron come in, and he liked it so much, he'd never heard of these things before. He, he asked, where can I buy one of these to use at home? Mm -hmm. So lots of good feedback already. That's great. We, if people want more information, of course, they can go to the, the website, reginalibrary.ca, and check out all that information, or go to your local library, and yeah. somebody will help you there. Definitely. Perfect. Thanks again, Jason, for being here. Thank you. Right now, we need to turn things over to Carrie's community calendar. Now that my mind is blown, Chris Kindle Market is happening at the German